Hey Gearheads and welcome to Garage Talk. I'm Corey. And I'm Holly. And we are coming to you from Radiator Springs, right on historic Route 66. This is perhaps the most popular but fictional stop on Route 66. But did you know that Radiator Springs was based off of several different locations along Route 66, which we will be stopping at very soon. Yeah, so stay tuned and check out all of the inspiration for one of the most iconic towns in a fictional universe. All right, gearheads, we are at Sally's Cozy Cone Motel, which was inspired by... The Wigwam Hotels. There are actually two TP Wigwam Hotels located on the historic Route 66. This is our first stop in San Bernardino, California, and you can actually spend the night here. Yeah, beautiful, windy San Bernardino, but a uh, very fun location nonetheless. And you can definitely see the uh, cozy cone uh, inspiration, inspiration back behind us in all of these wigwams. Uh, this one is being advertised as being here since 1949. And the Blue Swallow Motel. The Blue Swallow Motel is located in Tucumcari, New Mexico. Yep. Had never heard of this town before doing nope. the research, but this was an inspiration also for the Cozy Cone. And you'll see it says 100% refrigerated air, just like Sally's Cozy, Cozy Cone Co Motel. The Blue Swallow Hotel is one of the oldest working motels in the United States yep. and also one of the only remaining motor court hotels. I believe she said one of five left in, in the United yes. States. And that's where it's just like the Cozy Cone with Sally's where you can park your car in the garage right next to your room. We're actually staying here tonight. It's super cute. The owners are amazing. They gave us a little history tour. We'll put a link to, to their every, website in the description yeah, below. Which they give that tour to every guest that checks in. Yep. It's fun. They said there's a few more things that inspired the movie. So we're going to search those out and see how many we can find. All right, gearheads, while not directly in the Cars movie, a must-see stop along Route 66, if you are in California, is Barstow, California and the Harvey House. If you are into trains at all, uh, this would be a cool place to stop because uh, there's a whole rail yard back behind me. Did you know that Barstow, California is also the home of a Del Taco? This is where the chain originated and all of the Del Tacos in this area are still run by the original owner. Right, gearheads uh i think we found it the real radiator springs <laughs> no kidding the drive out here has been like something out of a movie the roadside Beautiful. signage looks just like radiator springs and uh if you can't tell by the sign behind us oatman arizona here is known for a certain wild animal making its way <laughs> across the roads and just out in public and no it is not a tractor slash cow uh, but the donkeys here did inspire the cows of the cars franchise the, tr the tractors yeah yes. so oatman has roaming wild donkeys which we got to see they came right up to our cars which was fun and that is the inspiration behind the tractors in the cars movie even though the cars are cows 
in cars they were actually inspired by the donkeys in oatman arizona which is a neat little oh my goodness I, i'm i'm in town, love with this. maybe yes uh, <laughs> i'm just gonna show you really quickly around here uh it is absolutely gorgeous out here in oatman arizona there ain't a whole lot but what there is is quite beautiful and the speed limit is 30 through here because uh, they're warning you of those donkeys that are real, are legit, because two of them came up to the side of our van while we were here. But uh, definitely worth coming and checking out here on Historic Route 66. We're here at Lizzie's Radiator Springs Curios, which was inspired by... This! This is Hackberry General Store, and it inspired Lizzie's Curious Curios, or Radiator Spring Curios. There we go, that's the title of it. But uh, as you can see here, the sun has gone down. We are in the middle of the desert, and it is quite cold but uh, a very fun store back behind us indeed so much to see here unfortunately because we got here so late and the sun has gone down uh, it is not open and available for us to see but uh, we're looking to get on the road again very soon so we can warm up and stop shivering and we couldn't stop at Lizzie's without actually seeing Lizzie so here you are an old Ford that looks suspiciously like a famous black car from Radiator Springs. All right, again, we're cold. It's the <laughs> desert, but uh, we found Sheriff at uh, the Snowcap Drive-In. And what can you tell us about this place, Holly? So this is the Snowcap Drive-In, and there's also a really nice gift shop and souvenir shop, a little garden, and lots of photo opportunities around this little town, um, which actually is where John Lasseter came and talked to barbershop owner Delgadillo, Angel Delgadillo, and got most of the inspiration for the car's story from him because he told John Lasseter of I-40 coming in, completely bypassing the small towns and killing the businesses, yeah. um, which, the marketing of Route 66 has changed by the look of this town. It's very touristy. Like I said, lots of photo opportunities, a great stop if you are doing this car's road trip like we are. Yes. Now we're cold. We're going to get back in the car. <laughs> what would a trip down Route 66 be without a side stop over at the Grand Canyon? I've seen pictures, I've seen video, but there is nothing like coming out and seeing it for yourself. All right, we're in front of Fillmore's famous dome house, which was inspired by this, the Meteor City Trading Post, here uh, just outside of Meteor, Meteor City. City. <laughs> uh, and Winslow, Arizona, in between. Yeah. Unfortunately, it is currently not in the best of shape. All right, we're at the Here It Is sign, which was inspired by... The Jackrabbit Trading Post Billboard Here It Is sign. This sign can be found off of the highway here in Joseph City, right across the street from the Jackrabbit Trading Post, where you can find souvenirs, locally handcrafted arts and crafts, and a lot more. Quick bonus that we didn't film while we were in Radiator Springs was a Sarge's surplus hut and uh, we're just off Route 66 like I can see it right over there here in Tucumcari, uh, New Mexico but I see an uncanny resemblance to Sarge's back behind us. Could it be? We're standing here in front of Flo's V8 which was inspired by the Midpoint Cafe at well, you guessed it, the midpoint down Route 66 between Chicago and L.A.
This is just on the Texas border in Adrian, Texas, and the original owner, Fran, was the inspiration behind Flo and Flo's Cafe. You can still eat here. We just ate here. So full. It so is full. home of the Ugly Crust Pie, which sounds interesting, but basically it, it is delicious. Basically, the owner got her, the original owner got her recipe from her grandmother and made these delicious pies, but she could never make the crust as pretty as her grandmother. So they're known as the ugly crust pie because it doesn't matter what they look like. It only matters what they taste like and they were good. Yes. While we were here, they almost sold out of pies. Yes. <laughs> so we made sure to order ours with our food uh, to ensure that we actually got them. So uh, yes, absolutely. If you are coming down Route 66, if you're anywhere near Amarillo, Texas, uh, be sure and hit up the Midpoint Cafe. Yep, it's delicious and they have a Route 66 gift shop as well. So a yeah. lot of fun. We are standing in front of Rock Formations in Ornament Valley, which was inspired by this. The Cadillac Ranch, just outside of Amarillo, Texas, off of Route 66 and coincidentally I-40, uh, served as the inspiration for Cadillac range that surrounds Radiator Springs. All right, gearheads, while it's not directly on Route 66, much like the Grand Canyon, if you're in the Amarillo area uh, checking out Route 66, you definitely have to stop at the second largest canyon, Paladuro Canyon, here in the Panhandle of Texas. Unlike the Grand Canyon, where you park up top and explore here at Paladuro Canyon, you can actually drive all the way to the bottom and go for a hike. There's so much to see when out here. While I'm here this time, uh, on the last leg of our uh, California to Texas road trip, the time I was here previous was in an all-electric Mustang Mach-E. Be sure to go check that video out. We'll link it down below. All right, here we are in front of Ramon's House of Body Art, which was inspired by this. The You Drop In Cafe and historic Conoco Tower in Shamrock, Texas. Listed on the state uh, record of historical places in uh, 1994, this 1930s Art Deco building is definitely the inspiration for Ramon's House of Body Art. While Route 66 and this old 1930s building may look like something from the past, they're sure to keep up with modern times with a Tesla charging station right on the backside. This being our last stop on our historic Route 66 trip is a little bittersweet. Uh, this has been an incredibly fun adventure, but at the same time, uh, we've seen the effects of the interstate coming in that are mentioned in the Cars franchise. Uh, while we have seen some amazingly stunning places, we've also seen some buildings that need some love and some help. And with the centennial of Route 66 coming up in just a couple years. 2026. In 2026. Uh, we need to be sure to support these businesses uh, that are still along historic Route 66, America's Main Street. So we will put links to as many as we can down in the description below. Uh, definitely worth a stop if you're along Route 66 in any of these towns. This has been an absolute blast of a road trip. What do you think? Let's do it again, <laughs> so, <laughs> or let's go the rest of the way. Yeah, it's crazy to think we've already been over halfway down Route 66. Uh, and I like to say that a lot of the places that we stopped, the cafes and stuff like that, we actually met the owners, yes. um, and not because we went in and asked for them. They're just there working, um, trying to keep Route 66 alive. So go stop by, hear their stories. They're really cool. They have a lot of fun stories. And it's just a personalized experience that you're not going to get at a chain restaurant off the interstate. Or even a chain hotel motel situation right. because uh, 
I mean, the blue swallow, that, that was an amazing experience amazing. unto Fine. itself. So, yeah, please help and support these businesses along Route 66 and start planning your centennial road trip uh, because I have a feeling it's going to be a good, fun celebration down America's Main Street. All that said, until next time, gearheads, bye. Radiator Springs here at Disney's California Adventure and I, I screwed all that and we are coming to you live from right uh, live This is the Jackrabbit I shouldn't have said that it is inspired by this Mic check one two mic check Mic check While it's not the Grand King. Well. Absolutely, positively. It's your birthday to be Happy birthday. Oh, he's a happy birthday. That's great. How old are you? Four laps around the racetrack, lady. Wow. That's something to celebrate. Happy birthday.